typical electric vehicle battery would require about 8 hours to charge if the battery was completely empty. It would draw about 2500 watts per hour if charged on a typical residential circuit, consuming about 20 kilowatt hours in total. Compare this to a 100 watt light bulb, which, if run for 8 hours, would consume about 0.8 kilowatt hours. To put it another way, recharging your electric vehicle with a typical size battery for one year will be equivalent to the average annual energy used by four plasma televisions. It's likely that your electric vehicle's recharging cost after a 100 mile trip will be about $3. To put that in perspective, the cost of refueling a typical gasoline-powered vehicle for a similar distance would be about $10, depending on fuel prices. Overall, your operating costs will decrease significantly if you use an electrified vehicle. Yes, you can charge your vehicle whenever you like, but there are certain advantages to charging at night. It may be cheaper to recharge at night when demand for electricity is lower. It's also cleaner to charge at night. For example, the wind typically blows more at night, so charging at night can allow you to maximize your use of renewable energy. The efficiency of electric vehicles makes them cleaner and less carbon producing compared with vehicles powered by internal combustion engines. Combustion powered cars can make use of only about 20% of the energy they burn, compared to electric vehicles which are 80% efficient. The rest of the electric vehicle related emissions come from generating the electricity to power the vehicle. In the U.S., generation typically is powered mostly from natural gas and coal, with about 10% from renewable sources. So with the current U.S. energy mix, using an electric car would result in a 30% reduction in carbon dioxide emissions overall. As with any new technology, the use of electric vehicles will increase gradually. While electric vehicles are available today, a lot needs to happen before every car can become electric. Power grids must become smarter, capable of sensing conditions and sending and receiving data along with energy. Companies are currently working on developing smart software and new infrastructure to accommodate issues such as who pays for the electricity when you charge your car at a friend's house, or how do you get billed when you roam outside your utility's service territory. Current ideas for solutions include credit card readers at charging stations, subscription-based payment, and utility billing based off vehicle ID numbers. Adding this kind of intelligence into the grid will help utilities meet the need for additional electricity and continue to provide reliable service.